It looks like Meghan Markle is something of a fashion icon after all. Stop it. But she truly is because it's won an award. But what? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well. Now, this particular story caught my eye because it all really centers on Meghan Markle's fashion. Now, I know nothing about fashion, truly. You know, I look at some of these dresses, particularly when you've done the red carpet thing, you know, with all the stars at things like Oscars and Cannes and stuff like that. And I never understand it. You know, they always say to you, you've got to ask this line, who are you wearing? And my motto is, ladies, this, if I have to ask you, then you basically might as well just wear a banner across the dress saying, I'm in Valentino, I'm in Amani. Just plug them because that's all you're doing. I don't know about you, it doesn't matter whether it's a cheap dress, cheap outfit or whatever, it's the way that you wear it and how classy you look. But one of the things that caught everyone's eye way back in that now infamous Oprah Winfrey interview was the wraparound dress that's apparently what they call them, worn by Miss Markle as she sat in Tyler Perry's beautiful garden while being interrogated, <coughs> loosely speaking, by Oprah Winfrey, you know, the one where she, well, she couldn't cope and everything was getting too much for her, all of that sort of stuff. Now, some cruel people suggested that that dress looked like she'd been attacked by pigeons, not in a great way. As I say, I knew nothing about fashion and apparently that dress is worth thousands of pounds. But again, you know, I kind of look and think, well, nice dress, all that sort of stuff, but how would you know it was Armani? Now, though, it's won an award. It's by a magazine called Dazed, and it's interesting because they're a fashion magazine. I think they come out three or four times a year. And uh, three alleged fashion designers, stylists, have voted this the most iconic dress of the last period. Yes, so much so, and this is where I've got the giggles, actually. So much so that the dress is now going to be displayed in a museum in Bath. Yes the lower part of the United Kingdom. Nowhere in London, of course, but here's where it gets even more ludicrous when you think, because it's the Fashion Museum in Bath. Now, I'm sure it's a beautiful place. Bath is a wonderful city, but it's not even the original dress. <laughs> It's a copy, right? So, you know, it's just a copy. Now, we were lucky enough many years ago to go and film at Windsor Castle to see the original wedding dress of Meghan Markle, which was on display then. That kind of was something, alongside the blues and twos of Prince Harry. The uh, dummies looked a little bit strange, but we'll just leave it there. I think you can see the picture now. Interesting to note, though, for Meghan herself, we've had no comment from her. Amazing, I thought they'd jump on a Zoom to let us know their thoughts, but sadly not. But I believe the reason why the magazine and the museum have come up with this is simply this. After a few years of uh, not being open, closed to the public, etc., this is a great way of drawing focus on your product, your brand, your company. And more importantly, of course, if you get something that really divides people, then you let people know you're existing, you're here right now. So for the Fashion Museum in Bath, Hats off for getting some publicity, but if you want to look at a copy of the dress, you can see quite a lot of them in a discount store over here called Primark, who do excellent copies of mega designer dresses. So as ever, <laughs> that would be my advice to you. But for the fashionistas out there, why not take a look? Neil Sean in the heart of London. Is that Megan? <laughs>